When you look at a general base plate design, it looks pretty simple, right? You just got some four bolts, you got some forces and moments, some simple geometry. However, if you overlook this one key aspect, you could be severely under designing that connection by up to two times. And it's critical to make sure your designs behave as expected. So let's drill down on the critical nature of connection design. And the action is called prying. So what is prying? It's effectively when you get an amplification of force when you're trying to lift up the base plate. You see, you get a smaller lever on the, therefore you get a higher load than expected. There is some simple rules of thumb that you can go through to make sure that this doesn't happen or some good detailing techniques to make sure the connection doesn't pry. There's also certain ratios as well that you want to maintain where you're meeting your B's and D widths to make sure that prying action doesn't occur. If for whatever reason you have to maintain that plate thickness, and that distance, you need to make sure that you're amplifying it based on the code requirements that we can see here. So it's around about plate rigidity and detailing that is the critical nature. You're looking at the FEA, potentially it's stiffer than you're actually expecting. It's not yielding as expected. So it means those forces are potentially a lot lighter. However, you can double confirm this in simple hand calculations when we're looking through the base plate and stiffness requirements. So if you fall within the prying actions, you need to make sure you're amplifying those forces. So what's actually happening? You see the plate is bending and as it bends, it means that instead of going off on one edge, so you've got your lever arm, you're reducing that lever arm through creating a bearing surface. So it means the actual action is here instead of out here. So with that shorter lever arm, you're causing an amplification on the forces on that bolt. So you can see here through this simple calculation, as we're making the system stiffer, the tension force is increasing in the system, making prying actions more critical. So this whole system is a little bit counterintuitive. The stiff your system is, the lower your load will be. So it means that increasing the stiffness or adding gusset plates will actually improve your behavior than softening it up. Most of the time, softening up the structure will reduce your stresses. But because of the way the lever arm reduces, it actually does the opposite. There's also a key critical aspect in FEA design. If you are relying on the plate to yield and bend underneath those conditions, potentially if you're not using a non-linear system, force on the bolt could be substantially less. For example, in this case where we've got prying actions occurring, potentially FEA can have a 40% less load than if you're allowed for those prying actions to be done correctly. Just always making sure that you're backing up those FEA assessments with simple hand calculations that we're sharing here on the screen, just because the FEA says it's correct doesn't mean you should take those results at face value. This is also critical when you're looking at different aspects of structural design as well, as the FEA can hide some fundamental errors in your system. For example, if we're looking at how a bolted connection works, if we haven't allowed for that slipper rotation, potentially we're overestimating the stresses in the FEA as well. As you can see here, through just a little bit of movement allowance, a simple pleated bolted connection can allow for a lot softer result. We're in FEA, we have the bolts out here, we had full contact connection, more like a rigid connection. So it means that thinking the moment can transfer all the way back here. But with that little bit of rotation, forcing the moment and force to be out at this location. So much like the prying actions, this simple cleat plate connection is actually a force out here that forces a moment on the system. Where if you had gone for a full contact connection FEA, it would have transferred the load all the way back to this condition. So when we're looking at bolted connection designs, it's not just throwing into the FEA and assuming the results are correct, but drilling down on to make sure they're actually in the correct order of magnitude. And most of the time, you don't need to throw it in that FEA to get to the right answer or the correct path, as the FEA hides those fundamental errors. So whether it be a base plate on ground, where you're missing the prying actions, whether it be a fin plate with a lot of additional bolts adding an additional moment, both these aspects can hide fundamental forces that you may have overlooked. So a couple of key aspects when you're doing any FEA. So if we're looking at that bolted connection, which is the fin plate with the bolts out there, or even the prying actions, does it actually line up with real results? What does the handbook say when you're calculating it? Those prying actions, making sure your lever arms aren't too big to make sure your system is soft, making sure your base plate is a certain thickness based on the bolts and tension forces that you need to resist. And with some simple rules of thumb, you can make sure you don't fundamentally fall for some areas that could lead up to a 40% increase in stress and your structure to fail. Another area when you'll want to look at fundamental behavior of structures is how the fin plates and cleat plates actually connect. If you throw it into FEA, similar into the prying actions, 
you look at it and the forces aren't too bad. But if you do it by hand, typically you're saying there's a lever on there, there's a moment there. That moment is substantially bigger. I'm just gonna trust the FEA. That's where you're fundamentally wrong. As a fin plate has two bolts and connections, a little bit of rotation will take the moment out and not let it transfer correctly. So instead of the FEA that's fully attached and transferring the moment from where the bolts are back to the center point, meaning there is real no moment, the bolts out here has allowed for the rotation. It's actually a shear force out at this position. So that hand comp is actually more accurate than your FEA in these conditions. So being too trusting in your FEA can actually lead to you being careless and missing some critical aspects and not understanding the fundamental nature of buildings. I've got a link to the description to that math dot that I've got linked in this video. And if you are interested about one other key aspect that a lot of structural engineers overlook that will make your design simpler and better, I've got a link to a video here. If you're interested in supporting channel, there's two ways that you can do this. You can either become a YouTube or Patreon member. Without the support of my YouTube and Patreon members, this type of content would not be possible. As always, keep learning and I hope to see you next time.